The toy piano may come off as a pretty obscure instrument choice, but in fact, it's inspiring new compositions and new players, even as we speak. We're getting even the moving image for the Uncaged Toy Piano Festival to hear and see some of the new things that are happening in this quirky musical field. The toy piano is originally an educational toy invented in 1872 that was reimagined as a concert instrument in avant-garde composer John Cage's 1947 Suite for Toy Piano. The theme of this year's Uncaged Toy Piano Festival, named for the composer and organized by accomplished toy pianist and composer Phyllis Chen, is Toys and Moving Images, in which various musicians, composers, and multimedia artists explored the dark and playful sides of toys and play through music, theatrics, and video. This is the first year it's been held in the Museum of the Moving Image. There's usually a mix of performers. Some are sort of new to the toy piano, or some have done other things with the toy piano, like jazz musicians or improvisers, singer-songwriters, and toy instrument bands. And it's almost like casting. Each one was playing a role for what I thought was the whole evening being about moving images and toys. Renowned toy pianist Margaret Langtan was among the performers featured. This year, she performed an excerpt from Curios, a six-act, 35-minute piece commissioned by the Singapore International Festival of the Arts and composed by Phyllis Chen. The complete piece premiered earlier this year in Singapore in August, and plans are now underway to bring it here to New York. It's a very, how shall I say, fantastical, magical piece that's centered on the world of a carnival. And it all started because I gave her a very intriguing, haunting photograph of three clowns from the 1920s, photographer unknown. She shared that photo with me um, a few years ago, and we were both really kind of drawn by the mysterious and sort of grotesque aspects of that photo. And it seemed like the perfect departure for a new piece for Margaret where she could really showcase her sort of natural abilities to be sort of theatrical and playful. I call them clown cadenzas. She just left me spaces to, to be creative in a dramatic way. And each part deals with a different aspect of the carnival. There's something very dark and disturbing about um, some of the music. It brings up very complex emotions. That's, I think, because the carnival has a dark side to it, besides the surface gaiety. And I think Phyllis does a wonderful job of capturing these nuances. In 2007, Phyllis started the Uncaged Toy Piano to encourage composers to write new music for the instrument. Since then, she's received over 200 toy piano pieces from around the globe. She launched the first biennial Uncaged Toy Piano Festival in 2011. Now in its third year, the festival and its goals have changed a bit since its inception. I used to feel like a major advocate of the instrument, like this is a real instrument and I wanted to put that up front, but I really think seeing is believing. If you come, you can decide for yourself. And we have this universal experience of childhood that I'm no longer pushing for it in such an upfront manner because I think it's, it's inherent.